Hey guys, Channel Lego More here with another Lego Star Wars Han Solo movie set review. It's set number 75210. This is Moloch's Land Speeder. Has two figures, two hounds, 464 pieces, and it retails for $40 here in the United States. Um, and we'll take a look at the box itself. You can see right there, it has that very nice design to it, and also has the back of the box with one thick instruction manual as well which also has an ad for the construction figures which might be the last ones made and then the other Han Solo movie sets and the figures that we got in this wave. So of course this set is a little bit of a spoiler but it's based on the beginning of the film and you can see we have our minifigures so here we have Moloch here and this guy is really cool. I really love the design on him. The printing on the torso and that new slope piece, dress slope piece, is really awesome. You can see he does have that gunmetal gray design. It even has printing on the back of his torso and on the back of the, the design of the dress there. And you can see the tentacles coming out, which is cool. A little bit of the printing there. You can see a little bit of the printing there. And that head mold is really awesome. It's a hard plastic. He does also have the... Uh, pistol there and his staff as well and then we also have Rebolt here and you can see Rebolt does have that black Indiana Jones style whip and you can see the dirt on him which I think is like the Corian uh, sand or something I can't remember and then there's the back front of the torso and moving the face you can see a little better look there he has a bit of a stubble right there and then there's the alternate face on him which is very cool this part, I think, was used in another color in the Rogue One sets, I believe, which is pretty neat. And then in this set, we get two Cororian Hounds, which they can also go into the Land Spear, which I will show you guys in a little bit. You can see the molding on them looks very good, and they do look kind of crazy, honestly. So here is Moloch's Land Speeder, and like I, just like the Han Solo one, this is a very unique build. Um, it really feels very different compared to most other land spears that we got before of course when we got luke's really but this one looks really good i love how there's dark tan and some dark gray to give it that more damaged feel to it you can see here we have a a stud shooter here a multi-stud shooter there which you can by turning this wheel right here you can fire off just like so and again just you know fire off if you want and then you also have some wheels underneath as well. And I think it's built pretty good, so you can easily move it around. You have a roll cage-like uh, control area for Moloch that he can fit right in. So if you remove his accessories, you can put them right in there. And he can... He stands up in there, and then lock it in place, and then he can easily go out and chase after Han and Quira. And like I said, the build on this is pretty asymmetrical. You also have the back area, which has the Mixel's toothpiece and trans orange to give it the lights effect. And you also have a little clip here where you can store his staff. And you can also open it inside. We have a little compartment. We have some bones, we have some more studs for the stud shooter in the front, and the little bit of um, a bowl to feed the Cororian hounds with, which we can put um, Moloch's gun right in there, or you can stick it right in here as such, Whoops! and you can just then store that back in and close that up, and over here, we also have a space where you can put the Cororian Hounds in there, and they very much fit well in there, so you can put two of them in there, and they are like this in the movie too, so I, I did see the film, so this is a very accurate design, and you can, again, once you get the Hounds in there, you can lock them in there, and you can go out long and find Han or Quira with, um, with... Moloch and Rebolt. And again, just 
You can see the design of this thing is very big. It's very big in its design, very bulky, but that's what, again, just the design of it's just so different compared to previous ones that we got in the past. Um, and you can see build is, like I said, the color scheme is very asymmetrical, and I really like that about it. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for Moloch's Land Speeder. Overall, for $40, I think this is a pretty good set because you do get two exclusive minifigures in this set, and the design of the Land Speeder is something that we've never seen before in LEGO, so it's always a nice... Um, Surprise getting new stuff for Lego Star Wars and the Han Solo movie is definitely no exception when it comes to exclusivity. Like I said, the design of it is just really cool and I really like its its tatteredness. It really looks aged and all that, which is good. And the two minifigures you get too are fantastic as well um, with Moloch and Rebolt and then the two Corian Hounds, which also can go into the cage here in the um, speeder is really neat too. So, yeah, I definitely do recommend this one. And if you do own the Han Solo and Land Speeder, it goes very well with it, too. So, let me guys know what you think down below in the comments about this set and subscribe. Thanks for watching.